Oh, thank God you're safe. We've missed you, officer. How are you feeling? A little banged up, but I've certainly been worse. That Wendell guy needs to pay for what he did. And he will. But when? How many more innocent people have to get shot before that happens? OCP doesn't have our back. We know that Wendell's working for him. You know what we should do? Don't even say it! We should go on strike. Yeah! Sergeant, how can we go out on the streets knowing that the people who hire us are working against us? Don't forget about the robots. We will discuss this further, but first, Murphy, it's time for your evaluation. I'll be catching up on what's been going on, partner. Oh my god, Lewis is back. Hey, Steph, how's my hair? Looks like an elephant took a dump on an ostrich egg. So, you also noticed the symmetry of my face? Whatever, shithead. Robocop, please, have a seat. That's it from me. Where is Dr. Blanche? I am supposed to undergo an evaluation. Oh, right. She called. Said that she wouldn't be able to make it today. Actually, she wanted you to call her. She seemed distressed. Antonowski escapes from a high-security prison. Now the cops are thinking about going on strike. What happens if some dangerous criminal breaks out from the cells downstairs? Pray that Robocop is around. <laughs> Dr. Blanche. Thank you for returning my call. I, I don't know what to do, who to trust. What seems to be the problem? My research that I was conducting on you, it's gone. All the data that I collected is missing from the precinct. If someone felt comfortable stealing my computer, they may come after me once they realize that most of my records are on paper. OCP has been adamant about me keeping all the records on my computer, but I don't trust technology, and I don't trust OCP. I keep most of my records with me in my notebook. I don't know who to turn to, except you. Where are you now? Home. You are not safe there. Meet me at the Star Motel. Yes, I know the place. I'll meet you there. Thank you. I'm not leaving here till I know what happened. Sir, can you please calm down? I'm a respectable citizen. I won't be treated like this. Murphy, you busy? This guy's really a handful. Do you mind taking over? Hey, don't talk about me like I'm some kind of problem. The real problem is that one of you ignored my call for help. Sir, none of our dispatchers would do such a thing as receive a call and not act upon it. So maybe the next thing you're gonna tell me is that I wrecked my own fish shop. Plenty of people attempt insurance fraud. How dare you? My family has been serving that neighborhood for generations. You should know that I have many offers to buy out of the shop. But I would never sell out to OCP, unlike you lot. I need to speak eye to eye with the man who ignored my call this afternoon. Just a moment, sir. Murphy, 
I think it's your new buddy who's been on dispatch duty today. Could you check this matter with him? Something's going down in the locker room. Let's check it out. It was you sitting on your ass in dispatch when my cousin called the police. He got shot because no officer showed up. It appears there's a technical problem. I reported it to OCP. You see? He said it himself. That little snitch reports everything to OCP to undermine our efforts. That's not right. I answer all... Yes, it's not right, and you'll answer for that. Put him up. <laughs> I ain't gonna fight you. We're police officers. No, you got that all wrong. You never were and never will be part of this team, because you're not a real cop. You may fool some of us, but I can smell a rat a mile away. Attacking a fellow officer is a violation of the law. I will not allow it. Of course you won't. You're both OCP's puppets covering for each other. This is bullshit! Come on, Steph. Let's just go. Whatever, man. Your stress level appears to be high. I recommend using a health pack. I'm guessing you're not here just to check my vitals. Can I help? There has been a complaint about police ignoring calls. You mean other than this one? I had a feeling something was wrong with the switchboard. Can you meet me in the dispatch room? I want to show you what I mean. I think the problem started when OCP brought new equipment in. I mentioned to the technicians that I thought something was wrong with this switchboard, but they said not to fuss as this stuff is top of the line. Maybe you could have a look at it? Found something? This cable looks out of place. I will see where it leads. Police, what's the emergency? Hello? I just called, and I believe someone hung up on... Okay, just remain calm. Officers are on their way and will be with you shortly. I haven't even finished my last sentence, and you... Thank you for contacting the police. Stay safe. So, any luck finding what's wrong with it? The switchboard has been tampered with. Calls are being patched through to a concealed answering machine. That's seriously messed up. But it's definitely not all the calls. I've been receiving a pretty decent share of them. But have a look at this. I marked the map with all the calls I've answered this week. One entire district seems to be completely empty. Yeah, and it's that rundown neighborhood. We need to find out what's going on over there. An opportunity presented itself. There was a victim from there awaiting an apology. Okay, let me take care of that. I'll tell you what I find once I'm done. I can't undo the injustice you suffered, but I want to make it right. I'd like to start by visiting your store. Maybe I could take your statement there so I don't keep you here any longer. Finally, someone who's hearing me out. I want to see you by the end of the day. Otherwise, this matter goes straight to Mayor Kuja. Once I finish my dispatch duty, I'll come right over. Good. Good. I can take my leave now. It's the perfect opportunity to check out the area and learn what the locals know, don't you think? I agree. If you're not busy with your other duties, maybe you could join me there?
Murphy, you're here. Let's start with what you found out at that prison. I will show you somewhere private. I think I've got the place. The new OCP project is what will make this possible for you. But I wouldn't want to leave you empty-handed. So let me at least give you this. The project's called Afterlife. Afterlife? So someone in OCP is working with Wendell on another big project? If not Becker, then who? Sorry to disappoint you all, you ungrateful fucks. You didn't think I'd find you here, did you? Since I'm already here, entertain me. If I'm no longer your suspect, then who is? I mean, we're all thinking it, so I might as well say it. What if it's the old man? Ha! <laughs> You've got some balls to even mention something like that. Nevertheless, good luck. Even if it's true, he's untouchable. Unlike you, I've got some work to do. Final preparations before the expo. So wish me luck. Good luck. <sighs> Becker's right. We can't just go on accusing people without proof. What else is there? Seems that Wendell found himself another gang to work for him. What do we know about them? Guns for hire. He's paying a lot for their services. They're supposed to be very computer savvy, real high-tech shit. Dr. Blanche mentioned her computer was hacked. Then I think we found ourselves a new lead. Murphy, I want you to pursue this. I will pay Dr. Blanche a visit. All right, everyone dismissed. Can't wait to go back out there, partner. You're not going anywhere. But, Sarge! I need you here. That's the end of the discussion. Murphy, Mayor Cusack wants to talk to you. He's waiting in Reed's office. You called? I did, Frankenstein. I hate to sound like a broken record, but the election is days away. The future of this city is at risk. That's why I wanted to be blunt with you. I want your support. Just tell me what you want me to do and I'll do it. Is it money? Do you want me to pay you? I will remind you, Mr. Mayor, that bribing voters is illegal. But if that's what it takes, you know as well as I that we can't have OCP rule this city. I may have overheard that there are some serious accusations pointed at the old man himself. What more do you need to know to support me? I will think about it. Sure. Take your time, but not too much time. The election is in two days. We're killing ourselves to put those bastards behind bars, and the next thing you know, they're back on the streets. Why even bother? Don't get yourself down. Nothing really changes. We're still gonna be chasing after the bad guys. Now that Becker has his robots, do you really think so? You better stop being so naive and join the strike. On your way to see Dr. Blanche? Yes. Let us hope I will not be slowed down by another cheering crowd. So, the preparations for the election are in full swing, huh? Fortunately, I am just by the hotel. Good. Keep me posted.
Murphy, good to see you. Multiple armed suspects have taken over the store. We gotta be careful. They got the owner inside. I am going in. You need backup. Remember your field training, Officer Washington. I won't let you down. You guys go ahead. I'll secure the perimeter. Oh, it's the maze poster. Maybe he actually knows him. Let's get him! You're something else. You really know your stuff. Let's get him. Don't pay for that. They stand no chance against you. That'll teach him a lesson. Oh God, what will my father do? And the fish, all the fish are gonna go bad. Oh, quit your whining, Pops. It's not like anyone can smell the difference. Open the door and come out with your hands up. Oh shit, that's Robocop. Listen, you and your friends got it all wrong. You're not supposed to be here, pal. OCP doesn't butt into this hood's business. And you're police on OCP's money. So you better scram if you don't want trouble. Perhaps I want trouble. <laughs> you don't know who you're messing with, you stupid toaster. I I've got a hostage here, and I'll blow his fucking brains out if you try anything stupid. Break the door! He's reloading! Who's that? There ain't an ounce of respect in those perps. There's nothing sacred to OCP. But I was wrong about you. You're definitely more human than any of them OCPI in it. <sighs> that was intense. Good job, Officer Washington. Thank you, Robo. Hey, Washington. That sounded like a proper gunfight. So how come you're still in one piece? I had a partner who had my back. Keep it up and I might just change my mind about you. I'll wrap this up, Robo. You can head back to the precinct. back already, Grumpy? With all those colorful flags and balloons, any other cat would be in seventh heaven.
You're way too early. The bachelorette party starts at 8. I am here to meet with Olivia Blanche. What room is she in? This is a by-the-hour hotel. People don't usually give names. Dr. Blanche is in her 50s, bright long hair, possibly tied into a ponytail. I gotcha. It's that classy lady. She's staying in room 405. Thank you, citizen. So, you aren't the real RoboCop? Listen, if your mature lady won't be able to satisfy you, I'm sure I'll find someone younger that would be happy to help. It's you. Thank you for coming over. Do you really think I'm in danger? Not as long as I am here. Tell me what happened again. Someone stole my work computer from the precinct. But the only thing of value are my research notes. Your evaluation especially. Does anyone else know about your research? OCP requested confidentiality, so they're the only ones who know about it. You don't think the old man has anything to do with it, do you? Did you notice anyone suspicious at the crime scene? No. But after a recent hacking attempt, Engineer Morgan fitted my work computer with a tracking device. You could download its last coordinates from my private computer. It's right there on the desk. Maybe this will help you find the culprit. I will find them, and they will pay. Actually, even if those thieves were after my research, they'd be disappointed. I keep most of my notes on paper, including my conclusion. I know the whole process wasn't easy for either of us, but I'm sure you felt there was progress. How do you feel about doing the final session now? I promised to adhere to our working relationship. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You agreed to a non-compulsory evaluation. Does that mean you felt our sessions are helpful? Yes. A lot has changed since we started. Do you remember how you perceived yourself back then? As an OCP machine. That's not quite right. But since then, did you have a change of heart? How do you consider yourself now? I do not know what I am. I can understand why you still find this confusing. Through our time together, I've learned a lot about you. And one thing I know for sure is that you're not some kind of soulless OCP robot. Why do you think so? Could a machine create a real bond of friendship such as you and Officer Lewis have? Do you think a machine could teach a newly appointed officer what it means to be a real policeman? Or bring comfort to a suffering old man? But an actual person glitch. We should make a clear distinction. These so-called glitches are your memories. It seems to me that they manifest themselves in unusual ways because they are trying to get through a mechanical barrier. But as memories and the past make up everyone's personality, those memories make you who you are as well. This is what makes you different from a machine. You should not fear them, but embrace them. But there is also the other kind. And that worries me. But the malfunctions you're referring to seem to be strictly technological. I'm afraid someone is using your mechanical side to mess with your psyche. They would be more successful if it wasn't for your human side. And no wonder. It's probably your strong will that allowed you to bear the extraordinary burdens. And it's also what's been protecting you from totally malfunctioning. I don't know a single person who could endure that. So if this evaluation was to determine whether you're human or not, my answer is, you're not just a human, but an exceptional one, Alex Murphy. Don't you ever forget that, unless you want to have me on your case again. I will try. Thank you, Doctor.
Use my computer to download the coordinates of the tracking device. It's right there on the desk. I have the coordinates. Hello, Dr. Blanche. I got a special delivery for you. But I haven't ordered anything. I only need your signature. Can you please open the door? Oh! We are one! Rig <laughs> injury sustained! Caution! She's not I'm alive! Fine. Here. Maximum performance. Oh. I lost the leg. Oh God, were they here to kill me? We need to move. There was, there was an attempt on Doctor Blanche's life. Is she okay? Yes, but she will need an escort. Roger that. I'm on my way. For a moment. No, we should not stop. It's a dead end. We need to look for another way. I will make a way. I don't know how you're thinking of making a way, but you better hurry. This room is getting off. Contact! Tactics! 
fire's dying out. There's someone's footsteps upstairs. I will make a way. I'm finally starting to understand. The shooting, the blood, seeing it firsthand, it puts everything into perspective. What I think I'm trying to say is, thank you. My duty, madam. So what now, Murphy? I will follow the signal to track the doctor's computer. You will keep her safe. Say from what exactly? Who were those guys? Mercenaries on Wendell's payroll. The same ones that paid me a visit at the hospital? Wendell should be grateful. You keep reducing his overhead. I am expecting a huge payoff. I hear that. I didn't know you were involved in politics. I don't give a shit about elections, but they give free food for handing out flyers. One hundred and sixteen, one hundred and seventeen, one hundred and eighteen. Huh? Have I counted one hundred and eighteen yet? Oh man, I need to count how many people we must pay to clap, and because of you, I have to start over. The most important thing is to find balance. Harmony. Sure, you can work your ass off every day, but... If you want to sit on your ass while you're on the job, fine. But for God's sake, just... I didn't know you were involved in politics. I don't give a shit about elections. But they give free food for handing out flyers. What a surprise. Not everyone in this city would return a wallet. I'd be letting my father down if I didn't, sir. Your father must be proud of you. Okay, Murphy. So where are you headed now? I am following the signal from the doctor's computer. That's handy. You're gonna keep me posted if you find anything, won't you? Affirmative. Murphy, out. I hate when you do that. Lewis, out. Hey, Robo, could you help us? We're in quite a pickle. We have here a dead campaign manager from Mills's office. This case is urgent. But we can't get inside the vehicle to examine the corpse. For some reason, the car is electrified. Now that everyone's on strike, there's no one to take care of it, and I don't want to end up like a well-done steak. I am glad to be of help. 
Uh, and if you can look around for clues afterwards, you know, uh, you never can tell with the electricity. Bulbs are burnt out. Something must have caused a short circuit. I assume a failure of the Magnavolt system. I will look into it. Now, if it wasn't for that, we'd have probably found the car on bricks and him and just his... Magnavolt is deactivated. It is now safe to investigate the car. Ah, great. But uh, if you could take a look inside, uh, just in case... Gladly. The victim was strangled. The rope was tied with a sailor's knot. Not everyone can tie something like that. The deceased is holding the phone. The last number dialed is described as the office. Was he calling his own office during the murder? Certainly worth checking. There is an earring on the front seat. Could be helpful if we find out. The phone, the earring, and a sailor's knot. That's something to go on. And the place itself is interesting. Less than a hundred yards from the victim's office. I wonder why he stopped here. I will go to the office to see if the victim left a message. It's near the cinema on the third floor. We need to finish here before we can join you. Where There's that homeless guy across the street. He warned us about the current. He probably tried to steal something from the car, but it's hard to get anything out of him. His hand is fried, but he says he doesn't want an ambulance. Says he can't afford it. Why would OCP get involved in this case? Not following politics, huh? The guy was Mills' campaign manager. OCP will do anything to get Mills elected. Yeah, if everyone hadn't been on strike, they would have brought the whole station down here. Why did you not join the strike? I owe Reed a favor. And you're too close to retirement to risk it. But there's nothing keeping you here, Officer O'Neill, apart from making my life less bearable. Well, somebody's gotta watch your clumsy ass. I will let you know if I find anything in that office. We'll meet you there, and maybe we'll grab a burger on the way. Not on my watch. Hey, I thought we were partners. you, officer. I want to speak with someone from Simon Page's office. Oh, then you're in the right place. Agatha Crane, Simon's assistant. But I'm afraid we have to wait for Mr. Page if we want to go in. Why? A key card issue. I have to recode them every week because Mr. Page has a thing about security. But sometimes newly encoded cards don't work. I call them unpredictable little things. They can ruin even the best schedule. Mr. Page was murdered last night. Uh, what? Oh, oh God. That makes my schedule irrelevant. Were you or anyone else in the office yesterday after Mr. Page left? No, Mr. Page always stays late and just the two of us work here. Allow me to check the phones. Mr. Page called the office during his murder. Of course. But first we need to get inside. Maybe you could help with the door. Follow me. All calls go through my phone. It's on the desk on the right.
have no new messages. The phone on Mr. Page's desk is connected to his answering machine. It's the only one in this office. Maybe he did not get a chance to record his message. Mr. Page's computer. I don't have access to it. Mr. Page's private schedule. Some of his meetings were so secret that he arranged them for himself. I didn't even know about them. Receipts for gifts that Mr. Page gave during business meetings. Did you find any leads? You know, perhaps you should check out Mayor Kuzak's team. As the death of Mr. Page plays into their hands. According to his schedule, Mr. Page often met with a person marked as G. In fact, they met yesterday. Oh, God. Could he be the murderer? Do you know who that might be? As I said, Mr. Page had a thing about secrecy. I wasn't allowed to view his private schedule, so I don't know all the people listed there. What about his receipts? There was one for earrings. Who were they for? For Gloria. Oh, God. G. Gloria who? Gloria Lindbergh from Kuzak's campaign office. Mr. Page wanted her to change sides. Do you know where she lives? It's just a short walk from here. An apartment opposite the basketball court. I don't know the exact address. What'd you find out? We have a suspect. I am on my way to question her. In the office, there is an assistant of the deceased. I'll keep an eye on this place till you get back. Kurtz will be here in a minute. He just went to get us a couple burgers. Are you Gloria Lindbergh from Mayor Kuzak's office? So OCP is using less and less subtle methods to intimidate us. What do you want? I am here to ask questions about Simon Page. He's my political opponent. I have nothing more to say about him. Mr. Page was murdered last night. Oh, too bad for him. I, I kind of liked him. So why are you here? We have reason to believe that you are involved. On what basis? Evidence suggests that you had a relationship with him. Evidence fabricated by OCP? Did you or did you not meet yesterday? I was supposed to, for business. But Simon called my office and canceled the meeting. The investigation demands that I search your apartment. If OCP wants to frame me, you probably won't back off anyway, so come on in. I was wondering if there was a man hiding under that shiny arm. I have a second glass if you want to loosen up. I have various hobbies. Sailing is one of the more innocent ones. Do you like it, officer? Such strong hands can probably tie strong knots.
I lead a busy social life. It's not a crime, is it, officer? Is this a gift for Mr. Page? He gave them to me when we met. He was probably trying to buy his way into my favor. I lost the second one. I have a prescription for them. I can't fall asleep when I'm alone in bed. So, am I under arrest? Maybe you want to cuff me? Negative. First, I would need to charge you. According to Mr. Page's schedule, you met often. Too often for business meetings. <laughs> that doesn't make me a murderer. Simon contacted me a month ago. He wanted me to join Mills' campaign office. We slept together a couple of times, and there was something electrifying about it. Secrecy, his connections with OCP, the consequences if we were found out. And we were. His assistant figured it out. She must have reported us, and OCP killed him. They were afraid he might give me Mills' campaign details. You claim that Agatha Crane knew about your affair. Not only knew, but she blackmailed Simon. She's ambitious. She wanted to get a promotion out of it, but Simon fired her. When was Agatha fired? Maybe a week ago. <laughs> you should talk to her, not me. I intend to do that. Please stay at our disposal. Missing you already. Officer Neal, come in. Is the victim's assistant still with you? O'Neill here. We have a problem. Locate in her. But I can assure you she didn't leave the office. You'll see what I mean when you get here. Where is Agatha? A very good question. When you left, I came inside to take her statement, but there was no one here. Kirk showed up soon after. We've been looking for the lady ever since, but she's vanished into thin air. She couldn't have left the office without us seeing her, though. We must find her. New evidence suggests that she is the murderer. Once again, let's just check every corner. She couldn't just disappear. How do we know that the missing lady is the one who did this? She had a motive. She threatened to reveal Paige's affair to get a promotion. A secret button hidden in the desk. This is getting more interesting. As long as it's not red, I think we... The case of the mysterious disappearance solved. Now all we have to do is open that door. It looks like she used a computer. Maybe we can find something there. A message here says there is a panic room in this office. There is also an access code. Panic room? Magnavolt? This page guy didn't Open like to let sesame. anyone in. Open At least the hide-and-seek sure, game is over. Just leave The delicious sesame sprinkled burger Bad buns problem. we haven't eaten yet. Simon! I can't forget! You're ruining my career! Come on, you stupid... Agatha Crane? You are under arrest for the murder of Simon Page. It was just removing an obstacle. You have the right to remain silent. I had the right to do it. He didn't even realize that by blackmailing him, I proved that I'll do anything for the job. What else would you want from a political strategist? You have the right to an attorney. This is my attorney. I wasn't born to end up in jail. 
I was born for great things, and only I decide my fate. You committed a crime. You should suffer the consequence. We'll see. Unpredictable little things. Again, it's frustrating when they ruin even the best schedule. Everything will go according to plan for the next several decades. Okay, lady, show's over. You're coming with us. I hope they throw away the key. Because of your cold-blooded murder, I'll have to reheat my burgers. Gary the good cop. Drinking in a public place is against the law. I'm not drinking. I'm drunk already. And I am home. There is an open bottle of liquor by your side. I have to issue a ticket. Sure. Send the ticket to the third park bench at the promenade. And he's still sticking with that Mills bastard.
Need some rubble? No, but it might be covering something that I am looking for. It will be like searching for a needle in a haystack unless you have some kind of x-ray. Any joy? I need to see what is underneath. Then you'll have to wait. There'll be a truck to move it in an hour or two. It's not like you can move the whole thing anyway. You're not a finicking train, are you? <laughs> I am much more than that. Shit! You're like a freaking bulldozer. Is that what you were looking for? A manhole cover? I need to get underground. Well, not through there, you ain't. If the sewers are what you're after, then you should use the entrance behind the mark. Just under the overpass. Thank you, citizen. Another respectable citizen on their way to the sewers. Is there a party going on down there? Some of them may come back. Let's hope it's not an alien party. Just make sure you don't drink anything. It might have a roofie. Lewis, tracker coordinates lead me to the sewers. I am entering now. I can't hear you very well. It must be bad signal. I've taken Dr. Blanche to the safe house. Lewis, you are breaking up. Watch your step. This might get dangerous. Make sure to contact if back up. Stay safe. Initiating new tactics. Engaging the enemy.
seem to get hold of him. Lewis, can you read me? Loud and clear. Are you out of the sewers already? No, I found a signal booster. Signal booster underground? The entire OCP communication network runs. Whatever they're doing, I am for them. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Lewis, I found the computer. What did they need it for? Retrieving and processing data for my evaluations. Where was the data going? OCP's mainframe computer. To access it, you need staff credentials, and they have been using Wendell's. You're saying that OCP has Wendell on their payroll? The old man is the one who signed his contract. That son of a bitch! I knew he was behind all this. Can you send us over that data? I am uploading it as we speak. I'll make sure Reed sees it ASAP, so we can get you a warrant for the OCP headquarters. I am heading to OCP headquarters now. the files that you sent us and it turns out that the data from your evaluations have been used to prepare an afterlife presentation and get this it's taking place right now to put a cherry on top the old man is in attendance just find where the afterlife presentation is taking place and you'll catch the old man red-handed that is how I prefer to catch criminals 